Assam has a fantastic history of warriors who defended her boundaries often at the risk of their own lives. One such legendary warrior was Silarai. Silarai Divas is celebrated to honor the valor of one of the bravest soldiers, Huklodhoj, who was granted the title Bir Silarai. And I am your host Kabyashri and I am proud to bring before you the story of the great warrior prince Bir Chilare. In a time when India's history was shaped by great rulers and conquerors, there existed a kingdom seldom mentioned in the annals of time, the Koch Kingdom. Among its courageous leaders was Bir Silarai, known as the Kite King for his swift and decisive military tactics. Discover APSC like never before. Experience the thrill of learning with immersive podcasts, virtual explorations and cutting-edge content meticulously crafted to align with the APSC syllabus. We are not just coaching, we are your companions on the path to success. The Coach Kingdom, ruled by the lesser-known Coach brothers Malladev and Hukladwaj, rose to prominence in the 16th century under the visionary leadership of Vishwasinha. Through years of conquest and diplomacy, Vishwasinha established the Koch Kingdom, earning the respect of Brahmins and securing his place in history as a noble Kshatriya patron. Following Vishwasinha's passing, his sons Mollodev and Hukladwaj inherited the throne. Mollodev, now known as Naranarayan, assumed the title of king, while Huklothwaj took the role of the commander-in-chief, later known as Silarai. Huklothwaj got a new name, Sangram Sinha, but everyone knows him better as Silarai. It's because he was an amazing fighter. His battles were fast and sharp, just like a kite soaring high in the sky. In Assamese, Sila means a kite. So Sila Rai was called the Kite King because of his skill in warfare. In 1568, the brothers launched an attack on Gore. However, they encountered fierce resistance from the Gore general Kalapani. During the battle, Sila Rai was captured while Naranarayan pressed on to expand the kingdom. Sila Rai managed to regain his freedom by earning the favor of the Padsha of Gore. He displayed his bravery by rescuing the Queen Mother from a dangerous snake bite. In gratitude of his heroic deed, the Padsha not only set Silarai free but also offered his daughter's hand in marriage to him. Silarai's military genius became legendary as he led campaigns to expand the Koch Kingdom's territory. From defeating the Ahoms to extending control up to the Brahmaputra River, to waging wars against rival kingdoms like Jayantia, Tripura and Silhet, Silarai proved himself a formidable force to be reckoned with. But amidst his triumphs, tragedy struck. During a fateful battle with Gore, Silarai fell victim to smallpox, breathing his last breath on the banks of the sacred Ganga. Though his physical presence may have departed, Silarai's legacy lives on. Every year, the people of Assam honor his memory, celebrating his birth anniversary with reverence and pride. B. Chilarai, the Kite King, may have been the fallen star on earth, but his achievements as an administrator and commander has inspired generations, creating an inedible mark in the tapestry of Indian history. And for more such stories, continue to subscribe to our channel.